Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will be looking into another interesting searching algorithm which is jump search. So like binary and ternary search, jump search also works on sorted data. So let's have a quick look at the algorithm. So the first step is to define the first element as the current element. Next step is to find out the jump size. Now you can find out the jump size with the following formula which is nothing but square root of the length of the array. Now if the length of the array is not a perfect square then it is recommended to round off the value which you get after taking the square root of the length of the array. Next step is to check whether the current element is greater than the element to be searched. Now there are three possibilities. First is that if the current element is not greater than the element to be searched then obviously the element to be searched is lying on the right hand side of the current element. So you need to jump jump size steps ahead which means whatever value you get in the jump size variable you need to increment the counter that much times ahead. Now another possibility is that if the current element is equal to the element to be searched then you need to return and stop. In the other case that the current element is greater than the element to be searched then you need to directly move to step 4. Now we will look into step 4. Now in step 4 in the case when the current element is greater than the element to be searched obviously the element to be searched is going to lie on the left hand side of the element which is at the current position. So you need to move backward one by one and check whether the current element is equal to the element to be searched. And finally you will find the element. Now let's have a look at the advantages of jump search algorithm. So the first advantage is that it is more efficient than linear and binary search as you can find the element in less number of iterations. Next the time complexity is O of square root n. Let's have a look at the disadvantages. So the first is that the data needs to be sorted otherwise it won't work and it is complex to implement when compared to linear search. Now let's have a look at the working of jump search with a simple example of the following array. So here we have taken an array of 6 elements whose indices are starting from 0 and are ending at 5. So let's say we need to search for the element 100. Since our data is already sorted then we can proceed with the algorithm. If your data is not sorted then you can sort it easily by referring my playlist on sorting. Now as per the algorithm first step is to find out the jump size. Jump size can be found out by the formula square root of length of the array. Here the length of the array is 6 and its square root will be 2.44. Now it is always recommended to round it off so it is nothing but 2. Next step is to check whether the current element is greater than the element to be searched. Here the element to be searched is 100. Now the current element 10 is not greater than 100. So we will jump by the jump size number of steps. Since we got the jump size as 2 and the current element was at counter 0. So after jumping 2 steps ahead we will be now at counter 2. Therefore now the current element will be 54 and the element to be searched is 100. Repeating the procedure we can clearly see that 54 is not greater than 100. So again we need to jump by the jump size ahead. So now our counter will be at 2 plus 2 counter which is nothing but 4. We will now compare the current element with the element to be searched. Here we can clearly say that the current element is greater than the element to be searched since 1000 is greater than 100. So now we need not to move jump size ahead rather we need to move backward one by one. So since now we need to move backward now our counter will be at position 3. So at position 3 we have the element 100. Now we need to check whether the current element which is 100 is equal to the element to be searched which is again 100. So yes they both are equal and therefore we have found out our element at index 3. So this is how jump search algorithm works by jumping jump size ahead until a particular condition is satisfied and once it satisfies it moves backward and compare one by one with the element to be searched. 
we will see the implementation of it in the next video for more such videos like share and subscribe to my channel thank you